You're vegan? Yeah. Where do you get your amino acids? Plants. Asorbic acid? Plants. Biotin? Plants. Selenium? Plants. Thiamine? Plants. Vitamin A? Plants. B1? Plants. Two? Plants. Three? Plants. Five? Plants. Six? Plants. Nine? Plants. Twelve? Bacteria. Ooh, I've got it. Wait, do you eat oysters? No. Ha! Zinc. Hi, it's Emily from Bite Size Vegan, and welcome to another vegan nugget. I'm excited to kick off the final three nutrients in the Where Do You Get Your Vegan Nutrition Concerns series with the fantastic Dr. Michael Greger of NutritionFacts.org. Now when you go vegan, you, or more so people who know you, will most likely have nutrient related concerns prior to zinc, but it usually does arise after the fears of protein, B12, omega-3s, and the like have been addressed. Zinc is found in the highest concentration in oysters, followed by beef. However, just because something has the highest concentration of a nutrient doesn't mean it's the best source given all that comes along with the zinc. Plus, an iron pipe certainly contains a lot of iron, but I wouldn't recommend ingesting it to stave off anemia. Nor does it mean that it's the only source. I mean, the oysters and cows had to get the zinc from somewhere, and it wasn't from eating oysters and cows. So, let's hear from Dr. Greger about the role of zinc in our body, how to get it from plants, and why you men out there may need to keep a zinc-rich snack next to your tissues. So another one of the nutrients that people kind of struggle with with a vegan diet or think that they might not be able to get is zinc. So could you speak mm -hmm. a little bit to that, like what it does for us and where we can get it? Sure, we can get zinc from beans, greens, nuts and seeds, and whole grains as well. Um, if you don't get enough uh, zinc, um, you, it can affect your taste acuity. And though, look, I've uh, kissed a few and think vegans taste fine, but uh, uh, it, uh, and there's no evidence to suggest that, that people eating plant-based diets have uh, um, have uh, more problems with zinc. But you could imagine someone who was not eating whole foods, um, living off of uh, you know french fries, beer, and cotton candy, and you just would not be getting your zinc. I mean, so we need to eat um, whole grains, uh, not seed, beans, and greens. And so, but look, if you're eating beans every day, it uh, should not be a problem. Um, it's uh, maybe a little more challenging for men than women. It's interesting, like, um, so for example, iron, um, the requirements for iron for um, uh, uh, childbearing age women is higher than men because they um, uh, women are losing iron every month. Um, and so the differential is set up uh, to account for about a, have a, about a quarter cup of blood loss every month, um, but women may need more or less depending on how heavy their flow is. Um, for zinc, it's actually the reverse, interestingly. So men actually require more zinc. Um, uh, so the, like, uh, the RDA for zinc is higher for men than women, and that's because zinc is lost in every seminal emission. Um, so zinc is found in semen and we lose semen. Uh, we lose zinc and we lose semen. Um, and so it's interesting though, so you say, okay, well, how big is that differential? How much does the, how many times does the Institute of Medicine think men are ejaculating every day? And it turns out they put the differential at about three milligrams. So they're assuming men are ejaculating about once a day. If, however, you need more or less, you'd have to adjust accordingly. Um, and so, uh, you know, may need a, you know, a bowl of pumpkin seeds by a bed or something. But uh, so that's about an extra quarter cup of pumpkin seeds or peanuts, something like that, for every extra um, loss a day uh, for men. Is it sometimes, I've, you know, I, with the zinc and copper ratios, is it more of getting enough zinc or is it keeping those two in balance that is primary? Or is it just a both, basically? You don't have to worry whatsoever. Just eat your whole foods and you're fine. The only time when you get into some of these uh, nutrient interactions is when you're taking high-dose supplements. So you take high-dose supplements, you know, if you take a whopping dose of, you know, take 600 milligrams of calcium in one pill, then you want to worry about it interfering with something else. But 
Uh, when we get Whole Foods, we get everything the way our bodies were kind of um, designed to take it. I hope you enjoyed hearing from Dr. Greger on this. I particularly love my facial reaction when he says the Institute of Medicine estimated that men are ejaculating once a day. About once a day. So professional of me. Just eating a Whole Foods plant-based diet based on fruits and greens, here is my zinc intake from yesterday. If you want to track your own intake of zinc, check out Chronometer to track your nutrition. Sorry guys, I'm not sure if they have a tracker for your, um, emissions. Maybe something to consider, Chronometer. No? I understand. But it's totally free and pretty freaking awesome. So awesome that they're sponsoring this video to help get this vital information out to you. Be sure to click the link in the description to make your free profile so they know that Bite Size Vegan sent you. I don't get any money when you click, but it does make Chronometer happy in a way that is vaguely associated with me. Which is just how you want to make someone happy. Well, I'd love to hear from you on this. Is zinc something you even worry about in your diet? If you're vegan, was it a concern when you were making the switch? If you're considering veganism, is zinc on your radar? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this nugget full of zinc, give the video a big thumbs up and share it around to spread the nutritional truth. If you're new here, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button down there for more awesome vegan content every Monday, Wednesday, and some Fridays, and to not miss out on the rest of the videos with Dr. Greger. You can find the playlist with all of the videos so far in the info card sidebar and the video description below. If you want to help Bite Size Vegan keep educating, check out either of the support links in the video description below, and for perks and rewards for your support, just click the Nugget Army icon there or the link in the description for more info. You can also find it in the iCard sidebar. And hey, check out some of the related videos while you're here. Now go live vegan, get your zinc in, and I'll see you soon. You know how they say the size of a man's hand or the size of his foot can tell you something about the size of another organ? Well now, people everywhere are going to be looking at the size of the bowl of pumpkin seeds on the side of his bed. Thank you, Dr. Greger. God, the more you say plant, if you say a word, any, any word that you say a million times in a row, it doesn't sound like a real word anymore. Plants. Plants. Oh, I have to find these small things to amuse myself.